Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. I am Frankie if you do not know me and for those of you who are already subscribed to my channel and have watched my videos for a while then you will already know who I am but welcome back to my channel and today I am going to be filming for you a homeware haul. For those of you who have watched my channel for a long time you will know how much I love homeware and anything home decor so feel very very excited to film this video for you so there's kind of just like a mix of odd bits and bobs that I've picked up for our home over the last probably like two or three months um probably since I filmed my last home with all uh home wear haul so there's a couple of like basket pieces some furniture and also candles because I love candles and of course I wanted to share my faves with all of you so the first thing that I'm going I've like literally got a pile of all these things around me I don't even know where to begin so the first thing that I think I might start off with because they're quite large and I'll get them out of my way is like plant accessories so I popped into Ikea and I found these gold planters that I have literally seen all over Instagram and I've seen a couple of other bloggers and youtubers that have picked some of these up and I absolutely loved them when I saw them on everyone else's videos and I wanted to take a little trip to Ikea I feel like this goes echoey when it's near my face um, I wanted to take a little trip over to Ikea to pick up some wedding bits and then when I was there I found these so this is the smaller one and then I also have over the other side of the room I have a larger version of this which houses our palm plant which I'm not going to lift up for you because I'm in like my little sofa area and there is not that much space around me and it's a lot heavier than holding up this little one i did have a cactus inside here but sadly it died so that was the first little plant bargain that i picked up the small one i think was one pound and the large one was three pounds they are super cheap and they're gold so cannot go wrong the next one is this oh before I smack myself in the face. The next one that I wanted to show you, so this is my Monstera plant, which I've actually had for a while, and I didn't have a plant holder for it. I really wanted like a basket for it to go into, and I actually found this one from HomeSense. I don't know if you can see it very well. It's exactly the same design as my fruit bowl, which you would probably have seen on my last homeware haul, and it's that like wicker rattan style with the white, um, like trim going through it. I just love Monstera plants. I think they're so gorgeous. The only thing is they get very, very dusty. So I do find that I have to dust their leaves quite frequently, which is a very boring like houseplant conversation. But yeah, I love my little rattan basket and I keep that in our bathroom. We've got like a three-story, it used to be a bedside table, but we use it for products and things because we have the most smallest bathroom in the world. And I wanted something to make it look just more homely and more like our style. So I popped that in there and that just lives on the top of the like little um, storage unit. I think I said already, I picked it up from HomeSense and I think it was 11 99 So if you're wanting any like baskets for plants or just to have as like storage in the house, then I would definitely recommend HomeSense. They have such lovely ones. And I will show you the next one that I picked up. So this is another home sense bargain which I am completely and utterly obsessed with. I love this kind of white creamy boho style with like fringing details which I'm sure that you can see on the basket and then it also has like a crosshatch gold detail so it keeps that kind of gold look that I like going throughout our flat um, nicely and then inside it's like a rattany like much more of a softer jute style basket this houses this basically sits in my living room because we only have like a one bedroom flat and our bedroom is tiny I kind of get ready in our living room I've got like a desk area which I'm sure you've probably seen on my channel before and I use that also as like a dressing table area so this lives down by the mirror I'll and like I'll insert some cutaways for you. This lives down by the mirror which is next to the dressing table and it keeps my hair dryer and my straighteners and that sort of thing inside there like beauty tools that I reach for on like a daily basis. So yeah this one I think was £13 from HomeSense and they did loads of different sizes. I really wanted to pick up three of them so that when we move eventually I can have them in the bathroom for like towels and face cloths and things but we just don't have the storage in our flat at the moment so I just decided to pick up the one and I am um, obsessed with it so yeah home sense is great for baskets highly recommend it if you don't want to spend a lot on something that looks really really nice and it looks 
and I think that this particular one looks like it comes from somewhere like Anthropology, and their baskets are really expensive, so really recommend home sets if you're looking for some cute little storage pieces. Next item that I thought I would show you, because I'm actually reaching for it to take a sip of my coffee now, is the Sainsbury's Double Walled Mugs. I've been looking for so long, I'm talking like years, for double walled glass mugs, because I love how they look, and I love the whole, like, being able to see your drink, and it looks great for, like, Instagram pictures and things but I eventually found these ones in Sainsbury's you get two in a box for £10 and I adore them however they are incredibly incredibly fragile I only have two out of the four that I bought left because they break so easily so my last two I've been keeping such a close eye on because I'm so paranoid that I'll break these ones so yeah they are not the strongest of glasses so if you're planning on having them around in a house with children or anything like that I would definitely say avoid having them out when you have children or anything around or if you're a very clumsy person just don't buy them because I am quite a clumsy person and I've broken two already ramble over but I absolutely love how they look I'm gonna have some of my coffee now I hope that you don't think that this is all over the place but I'm just kind of delving into all of the things that are in front of me and there is no particular order so I'm going to show you the thing that's on my lap next because I want to take it off because it's quite heavy I found this book in a charity shop actually this is the Kelly Hoppen design masterclass book I had seen this on quite a few people's like home account Instagrams that it was like one that they had on their coffee tables and one that was a good buy if you're into like home decor um, for those of you who don't already follow me over on Instagram, I do have a home account as well as my main account. So my main account is Frankie Amelia XO, and then I also have a home decor account which is Frankie Amelia Home. A few people had asked me to do it, and I like documenting how our flat looks. So I definitely plan on keeping that on when we eventually move house and kind of showing you all of the things in between. But yeah, I basically had seen lots of home accounts that I follow over on my Instagram, had this book, and Lydia Millen was also sent this book um, on her YouTube channel and it just looked like a really great buy because it's very my sort of, Kelly Hoppen has my sort of style, she's very clean and crisp and lots of whites and floral, simple lines and just like nice accents with like silvers and golds so it was very much my sort of style, I don't know if I'm going to be able to flick through it very well whilst holding it up. I might have to insert some cutaways of what it looks like but I'll basically just show you some of the photos in the book so very my sort of style with flowers whites and greens and I just love kind of the way that she styles things it's really simple and clean and it looks quite minimalist without actually being minimalist I like to have a lot of my things on show but I like them to look really clean and crisp and well thought out and designed so I picked this up for two pounds in a charity shop and I'm so happy that I managed to find it because it looks amazing on our coffee table fits in with like the whole like gray and white theme that I have going on and it's just a nice little read for me um, to get some design ideas for how to design our home space. So that was one of my little bargain buys. I'm going to get on to showing you some candles now purely because I love candles and I think a couple of you on my channel came over here from my candle collection video that I did a while ago so I think that you guys would like to see them as well. The first candle that I have is one from Nocturna. They contacted me and asked me if I would like to try out one of their candles because they had seen that particular candle video and I of course said yes. I haven't actually yet burnt it purely because it smells so strong I honestly can smell this in my living room. I have it on the coffee table which is right in front of me and I can smell this in the living room without even needing to light it and I'm thinking of saving it more for summertime because this is more of a citrusy, exotic-y, summery sort of fragrance. It's called Tangier and the scent is described as an exotic city in northern Morocco. It's very sweet smelling. I had a candle like this last summer and it's about really really similar to this and I love burning it throughout summer which is why I'm saving this one. It's very citrusy with a really warm sweet undertone it's honestly so gorgeous they are hand poured vegan candles which means that the oils in there will burn really nicely and evenly which will give you a really lovely burn time and will also not give off too much um, smoke and they're vegan friendly for anyone who is a vegan I personally am not but for those of you who would be interested in that then the nocturna candles are all vegan friendly so yeah moving on to a couple of other candles I picked up these two from HomeSense and these are DW Home Candles. I picked up Lemon Leaf and Calling Eucalyptus. I love how the design of these candles are. These 
for only two ninety nine. The by the way, the Nocturna candles they are forty pounds, I believe. I'll leave everything in the description box. And these DW Home candles are two ninety nine. And this one we keep in our kitchen because it's nice and bright and summery. And then I also have the Calling Eucalyptus one, which I keep on our new side tables, which I will get onto in a second. But I picked up the Calling Eucalyptus because eucalyptus is a smell that I really, really love. It's very refreshing and it's also good for de-stressing which was a lot of the reason why I picked that one up. Another candle, which is one that I have pretty much nearly finished off. This is a Chloe White black pomegranate candle, and I'm sure that you will probably see from the design, it looks very much like the Jo Malone packaging, but this is from Home Bargains. I had never been to Home Bargains before, and my mum kept telling me, you need to go, you'll love the stuff there. It kind of, it's kind of like a cheaper home decor store that also sells like food and it's probably very similar to a lot of American stores. It's probably very similar I think to, I think it's Costco in America where you can pick up food and toiletries but it also has homeware. It's almost like the British version of that. I think that's the store that it is very similar to anyway. Um, but yeah, they sell this candle. This particular one, I think, is £5.99. It's like a three-wick candle, and as I'm sure that you can see, I have pretty much burnt it to the last of the jar. But this smells identical to the Jo Malone Pomegranate Noir. It's honestly such a dupe. This has honestly smelt so good, all the way down to the bottom of the candle. And for the fact that it is almost probably like one eighth of the price of a Jo Malone candle, I'm so impressed by it. And I definitely plan on picking up more of these. That is an absolute bargain of a candle from Home Bargains. And then the next candle that I really wanted to show you was one that I have wanted for years and years and years and I know that's probably a really funny and odd thing to kind of wish for like a candle for so long but I saw this probably about five or six years ago and I love Aqua de Parma as a brand. This to me, this candle to me just completely symbolizes the brand. It's so iconic of the colors and the design and the styles so I always knew that I wanted it and it's quite an expensive candle so I did end up treating myself with some vouchers that I received so that it took some money off and this is the Aqua de Parma Cube Colonia candle and I picked mine up in the yellow which is the typical colour of the brand it smells absolutely heavenly it just completely epitomises Aqua de Parma for me as a brand it smells so rich and indulgent and that really luxurious citrusy smell it's so gorgeous. Sam refers to this candle as a block of cheese, which I'm sure to some of you it probably does look like. My mum hates this candle and I know that I'm probably going to get a comment on this video because she thinks it's so ugly. But I absolutely love it. I just love Aqua de Parma as a brand and as soon as I saw this I knew that I had to have it. And this is one candle that I just really don't want to burn because it's really special to me and these are quite expensive. I think they're £75. Um, yeah, so quite pricey for a candle, but I absolutely love it. And I keep this on our coffee table, just on top of some of our like um, coffee table books with a dome over it because I'm so scared that anything could happen to it. So I keep like a glass dome over the top of it to stop it from getting ruined or damaged. And I will probably never light this candle because it's more of like an ornament to me. It smells delicious. However, it will always have to be more of an ornament than one that I'm going to light for the smell because I just love it too much. And it's pretty much my most prized possession in our living room. So yeah, finally have my Aqua de Parma Cube candle. Some pieces that I picked up for our bar cart were these glasses. These were from Marks and Spencers. They live on our bar cart, which are in our kitchen. And I picked these up over Christmas time because I wanted, basically I started drinking again just before Christmas. I kind of have like the odd gin here and there. And I really wanted some nice gin glasses. So I picked these up from Marks and Spencers. They're more like the typical traditional style glasses that you would generally find like a whiskey, etc. in. I picked two up, one for me and one for Sam, so that I can have my gins in them. And Sam can have like whiskies and things in them when he fancies it. So they were £5 each. And then I also picked up these gold straws. These are like metal. I don't know if you can hear that they're kind of like a metal straw. They're metal gold straws. And I picked these up on Amazon. I think they were three or four pounds for five of them. They just make really nice like glassware and make my drinks look a lot nicer than they would do normally. So yeah, love my little gold straws. And then another item that I picked up was some new hand wash. This is the Aesop or Aesop, I'm not too sure how 
all of you say it. I say Aesop um, hand wash. This is the Resurrection Aromatic Hand Wash. I picked mine up from Space NK. I have wanted one of these for such a long time. They are quite pricey. I think they're either £27 or £29 for a bottle of hand wash, which probably seems quite extreme. But I do have the Aesop resurrection hand balm and this particular hand balm really helped calm down a lot of the dryness on my skin and has really saved me in these winter months so I decided to pick up the hand wash and see if that made any difference and I can definitely say that my skin hasn't reacted as much as it would do normally so I definitely thought it was about time that I picked up a grown-up hand wash that didn't aggravate my skin after all of these years so yeah I have a nice new pretty hand wash in my bathroom I would love to pick up the full-size hand balm um, it comes in exactly the same packaging. I think they are about £50 for the hand balm. Really, really expensive. So the next thing that I wanted to show you, I can't really show you, so I'm just going to do a voiceover really, really quickly because I cannot lift it up. I picked up these side tables. So these are some side tables from Home Bargains, actually. I had really wanted to change up the side tables that we had in our living room. We basically had like some old bedside tables that were just like white ones from Feather and Black as side tables in the living room. So these are just some side tables that I picked up from Home Bargains. They were £11.99 each. They are actually actually really solid and really sturdy. I chose them in white. I think they come with a grey top and also a pink top. I chose the white because I love white and I think they look so nice in our living room. I've just styled them with like a couple of accessories. One is in our living room and then I also have one in our bedroom as well because we don't have a great deal of space in our room and it means that these don't take up as much room next to my bed. I'm just going to skim over them because they are literally like side white tables with that three-legged style and I'm really, really enjoying how they look. Another piece that I picked up for our bedroom, which is probably going to be really hard for me to fit onto the camera, so I will pop in a little cutaway over the top, was this gorgeous rug. So I have a white version of this in our living room, which I'm sure that you've probably seen if you've watched my vlogs before, but I really, really wanted to find a grey version, and I don't even know where I'd even got the idea of having a grey one of these from, because I've never really seen anyone with one, and I am absolutely in love with the colour of this. It almost looks like that French bulldog grey, where it's almost like a blue tinge, and I think this is so, so gorgeous. So you can just kind of see like the blue when it reflects in the light. And this lives in our bedroom down by the end of our bed. We have a grey bed in our bedroom. So I thought that the whole like grey dark rug would look really really nice in there so I'm hoping when we eventually move that we'll have a slightly bigger bedroom so that you can really see like the grey of the bed and the rug at the bottom with like some nice um, grey accessories thrown um, on our bed as well we've got like a really nice dark charcoal grey throw that lives on the end of the bed so I'm hoping that when we move we'll have like the bedside tables either side that I just showed you the grey rug at the bottom the grey kind of like upholstered bed and then a really nice like throw with really nice like white bedding so it's all like really crisp and white and grey and now that I have this grey rug to finish it off I think it will look so lovely with how I'm thinking I will design our room when we eventually move. Something that I also wanted to show you which is actually behind me is this grey pom-pom throw. I might just actually pull it off of my sofa so that you can see it. So this is a really super soft gorgeous pom-pom throw and I used some of my Christmas money from my brother and my girlfriend to pick my brother and my girlfriend from my brother and his girlfriend Lucy sorry Lucy you're not my girlfriend um yeah I picked up this pom-pom throw from Fennec Home and I used my Christmas vouchers that they gave to me to pick this up it's so soft so fleecy I love snuggling on the sofa in this and I just love how it looks in photos with the pom-poms on show I'd wanted a pom-pom throw for so long and I found this one in Phoenix, and I absolutely love it and it just looks so cosy on the sofa with all of like my nice fluffy cushions and I just love how it looks against like the pop of yellow on the sofa and I just love how it looks against like the pop of the yellow with the cushions on my sofa as well I'm so obsessed with it this was £39 I think from Fennec but you can pick it up online so I have actually managed to find it it's from the brand Walton I think it's Walton Lifestyle and I know I found this 
and I'll try and link it in the description box below if I manage to find it again. So super snuggly and cosy and I literally live under this every single evening. So yeah, so pleased I have a new little throw for my sofa. Love that. The last thing that I wanted to share with you is our new coffee table. So this was a Christmas present from my lovely mum. So I had a little bit of money from my mum for Christmas and rather than wasting it on things that I just didn't really need, I wanted to pick up something for the house that I've wanted for so, so long and coffee table was one of them. So I decided that I wanted to, I really, really wanted to get a gold coffee table and I'd searched everywhere, I wanted gold with marble topping and they were just so expensive. I didn't want to spend hundreds and hundreds on a coffee table that I didn't know whether or not would actually go in the place that we will move to eventually. Um, so I'm hoping that by the time we move, we'll actually be staying there for quite a while and I really want it to look and be something that I'll keep for a long time. So I decided to get this really plain and simple square glass coffee table and I'm actually really, really happy with it. I was considering spraying the black parts gold, so let me know your thoughts on that. But I'm thinking I might just keep it plain black for the time being, purely as I said, because I don't know what it's going to look like when we move and it might not look very nice with gold. The black might look better. So yeah, this is just like a double layered coffee table with um, completely clear glass so you can see all the way through to the bottom and I love how it looks I can display all of my coffee table books and a couple of like ornaments and accessories and then on the top I've just got all of my candles and a couple of photos and other bits and pieces and I just think it looks so so nice I'm really really happy with it I picked this up from Amazon which I was not expecting to find a coffee table on Amazon and I'm just really pleased with how open it makes our space look our living room is quite large and the coffee table that we had in the flat before was actually left here by the tenants that lived here before and it was really big really clumpy it took up so much of the living room and I just wanted to get rid of it because it felt so imposing in the room whereas now this is just like nice and neat and it fits perfectly in our corner sofa and I just love how it looks I'm really really pleased with um my new coffee table so thank you so much mum for um letting me pick up a coffee table for Christmas yeah anyway that is everything that I had to show you in my home my haul I really hope that you enjoyed seeing all of the pieces that I've picked up over the last few months and seeing it kind of like out in my home and what it looks like so yeah please do give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe to my channel if you aren't already and I will see you guys all in my next video Mwah.